Hey guys, this is Frenzy, bringing you a game from Intel Extreme Masters Tournament in New York between OGS Top, spawning as the Red Terran in the bottom left position, and Gosu Gatored spawning as the Green Protoss in the bottom right position. It's going to be a Terran versus Protoss on Tolerium Altar, so we will probably see some huge macro play coming out of these uh, players with this extremely big map. And uh, we'll have to see here who can take this series. I expect both players to just open up with possibly one gate or one barracks expansions, get their quick expansions up, and just go into a longer macro game. As we see, this SCV is going to be throwing down his barracks in just a second. Likewise, we do see that gateway coming down. Both players look like they're going to be starting to scout very shortly. We see the gas coming down for Gatored. And both players are going to scout their opponents last. will allow them to freely get up whatever builds they want to get up without them being scouted. Most likely both of them will be going for a very very short uh, expansion. Looks like... Okay, so we see the orbital and the cybernetic score coming down. These uh, scouting probes will touch each other in the middle of the map, that could clue them each other in as to where the other opponent is just because of the time at which you normally send out probe scouts or SCV scouts. You see this first marine coming over here, probably not going to get all that aggressive, just going to go to the uh, ramp here and deny any scouting information. We should see that command center coming up very shortly here for OGS top. We do see it coming down now. Likewise, we'll probably see that expansion coming down pretty shortly for Gatored as well. We see this Corona boosted stalker, so this actually could be some small amount of pressure, um, but with this bunker being placed down, he should be extremely safe versus that. As well, this probe is actually going to try to uh, get around any marines that could be on this ramp. But they will be he will be shot down in just a second. So we see probe just falls. This SCV actually stay, staying over on this side. I don't believe it actually went into the base yet. No, it did not actually go and try to get any scouting information. He's going to wait for a little while. Make sure that he can at least see this uh, nexus going up. He should be able to get close enough to see that, and that should give him enough information. And he's just going straight over to the expansion, sees that, tries to get any more information, but won't be able to see anything else besides that. Going up to three barracks now is top. And everything very standard on both players' ends. Going up to three gateways now. And this stalker just trying to be annoying, but with these marines in this bunker, it's going to be forced back. We do see the robotics facility coming down now for Gatored, so he's probably going to start to add in that Colossus pretty shortly. Stim packs on the way as well. And we see a factory, this is probably just going to be uh, floated over for a scout and used to get a starport. So that he can start that medevac and viking production on time with these colossus. We actually see very few units out for Gatored right now. He doesn't seem to be producing as quickly as he possibly could out of these gateways. Simply because he's going for that earlier robotics facility.
I love the stalker positioning right now is uh he's waiting for any move out to come and because the stalker is faster and has an extra range than marines, he can kite these mar marines extremely long distances and just slowly do a little bit of damage, maybe even pick off one or two before he actually would reach um, his base to do any sort of pressure. And now that it's a probably around a concussive shell timing, if he was going for that without the stim, he's pulling back that uh, stalker very wisely. But as we see, there's stim packs on the way. Marauders haven't even started to get produced yet. He's actually going to need to start to produce those fairly shortly, considering that uh, Colossus production could be just around the bend here. see this SCV going to try to get a little information. It will be able to get in here and see pretty much nothing. Um, sees that there's quite a few probes on this expansion, so he hasn't cut any probes to do any sort of all-ins from here. But not really anything else that he could have gotten. Nothing really all that useful. We do see two Marauders at a time being produced now, so just wanted to get up that Marine Force beforehand. Adding in a fourth barracks. and Adding in his third command center as well. As well, we see the back rocks for Gator going down, so he wants to take his third. So like I said, just gearing up for some strong macro plays. Um, I really would like to see that robotics bay coming down, but we do see double upgrades for Gator. That's actually very interesting. Um, so for the longer term, he's actually going to be pretty far ahead doing double upgrades while Top is only doing single upgrades. So if he can survive this timing, get these upgrades up to you know 2-2 two, two or 3-3, three, three, He's going to be in a fantastic position. So this small little push here is going to deny this gas geyser most likely, um, but won't be able to do all that much damage besides that. It is a pretty sizable force, but with force fields he should be able to deal with it pretty well. We also see the Ghost Academy coming up and plus one armor, as well as concussive shells. Hasn't quite gotten done yet, so this army isn't as strong as it could be. But still no area of effect coming down yet for... Uh, gatored, which kind of makes me uh, wonder a little bit. You really do need that area of effect to deal with these huge bio balls because they are just so effective against gateway units only. We do see 2 2 coming up extremely quickly, um, so he's going to take a very big uh, macro advantage with these upgrades for the long term play. So far, this robotics facility was only used for an observer, which is out right outside the uh, natural for Gatored. Scouting to make sure no big pushes come his way. And now we're going to see this 3rd uh, Command Center get landed down, as well as the Nexuses get going up here for Gatored. So both taking their thirds at around the same time, both on very even supplies. So this is a very even game as of right now. slight edge in resources and supply would go to uh, top just because of mules at the moment. If we look in the income tab, 64 to 56, but with mules this is an extremely even economy. We see charge coming up and now the robotics facility going down, so he just, was just waiting to get up onto three bases before starting Colossus production. And he's going to be able to crank those out very, very quickly now that he has a uh, three, base, three base economy. And as soon as this, these 2-2 two, two upgrades come in, uh, this army from Gator is going to be very fearsome. And Top's going to have to be very careful here because 2-2 two, two, two will actually be done by the time this attack hits. And he's only sitting on 1-1 one, one upgrades. It hasn't even started 2-2, two, two, so it's possible that Gator could get 3-3 three, three before Top actually gets 2-2. Two, two. So this is a very big I upgrade advantage going to Gator right now. So these upgrades have came through now. Um, there are a couple EMPs in this army, so it is quite scary. But the fact that this army is 2-2, and it's a very sizable army at that, um, he would like to wait for charge to engage this, but not very necessary, especially with Colossus production also coming out. This uh, army from Gosu Gator is going to be very, very s scary indeed. We do see plus two weapons coming up for... Uh, our Terran, but 
plus three weapons also coming up for Gosu Gator. Probably going to go up to plus three armored very shortly as well. Looks like Chrono Boosting this didn't quite have enough resources to start it though. A little bit of a waste to Chrono Boost. But did start plus three three now. <coughs> and we'll have that very shortly. We also see a fourth base being taken by Top very, very quickly. This army is in position to deal with a small little drop here. And we'll get away with all of its lives remaining. Looks like one Marine maybe fell in that drop. Um, we do see quite a few units out for Top right now. And has he actually started Viking production? It doesn't look like he has quite yet. How many star ports does he have? Just the one with a reactor on it. Um, so he's going to have to start that fairly shortly now that the Colossus number is going to start to grow here. And although we do see four more gateways being thrown down, if you're going this gateway heavy, I would really love to see um, a t uh, Templar archives get thrown down so we can get some of that storm going in. He does now scan and sees this Colossus, and we do see the Templar archives coming up, so very fantastic play now um, from ga Gator. Going to be able to add in that storm along with just a couple Colossus. But uh, these ghosts are going to be pretty much the uh, deciding factor in this game. If he gets good EMPs off, he'll be able to at least do well against this highly upgraded Protoss army. Misses one EMP there. And over Stim on all of his units, not being able to engage the Protoss. A ton of Zealots in this army as well. You never see this many Zealots um, in a Protoss army at this stage in the game. It's almost purely Zealots. And most of his gas has just uh, been devoted to getting these fast upgrades, and we're going to see shields as well coming up, but it's not going to be nearly as big of a deal because of that EMP being able to pretty much instantly take off all the shields. We do see uh, Top just sitting at this expansion spot, so he will be able to delay that expansion as well. We see this planetary fortress now coming up for Top, so he has already secured that fourth base. So a small um, econ edge going to Top right now, but definitely the overall army advantage is going to go for Gator just because of that plus 3-3 three, three finishing up now. And Gator, or Top, still sitting at 1-2 upgrade, so this is going to play a very important part in their next engagements. I would really love to see Gator push out now, um, simply because of the fact that he has a maxed out army and he has 3-3 three, three upgrades, which is going to tear through this bio. He needs to start doing some trades before Top actually catches up on upgrades. As well, we see 3 and 2 coming up now for Top. So he has a slight timing here, but Top being just as annoying as possible, dropping in two locations at once, trying to keep this Protoss army at home for as long as possible. And it looks like Gator just wants to go for it, and this Medivac is going to fall before he actually gets any Marines out and does any damage whatsoever. There's one Marauder in, er, Marauder in here trying to be annoying. But uh, Gator could warp in a Zealot or a Stalker to try to deal with that. Although this medevac is going to be able to slowly heal this up. But it looks like he is going to pick up and go home here. Or possibly drop in a different area, but there is a cannon in that. In that base. Looks like he will drop anyway. And pick back up and try to leave. He is going to sort of get out with his life. Try to come over here, but there are four zealots here. Now we're going to see the big push into the uh, fourth base here of top. But this is a planetary, but these zealots with charge are just going to tear this down extremely quickly. No repair going down on that. That fell so fast. And just completely denying that fourth base. And now top, or now Gator secured that fourth base of his own up in the top uh, middle location. So, looks like a Colossus Slipe will be able to go down. But Gator's sitting with an okay advantage right now uh, with the upgrades and now the uh, econ advantage. But this army is very fearsome. If big EMPs go down, which they do on all of the sentries, there's going to be no force fields in this engagement. These uh, zealots are eating the uh, bio um, army alive, though. So much damage going down from these 3-3 three, three zealots, as well as an offensive blink going to get all of these stalkers sniped. And I'm not actually sure who's going to win this battle. There's just not enough AoE here for Gator. But it seems like every trade for Gator right now is going to be favorable for him, simply because of the upgrade advantage he has. These are only Zealots. If we look in the Units Lost tab, the Terran lost a lot more than that, simply because of these Tier 1 units that he was pretty much maxing out on. And now that he lost some supply, he's going to be able to remax on the bigger armies, which is Colossus and Templar attack, and get up a very sizable Death Paul army and be able to just push in here, and I don't think Top's going to have enough to deal with it. But we will have to see. There are a lot of Command Centers going down,
morphing a lot of orbital commands. It looks like he's going to just go into mass mule mode very, very shortly. He only has 55 harvesters. A lot of the extra supply for Gatord right now is in those probes. I really think Gator should be waiting a little bit longer until he gets some uh, area of effect damage into his mix. Uh, we do see quite a few Vikings, so I would love a big Templar switch, which we do see a ton of Templars here. How many ghosts are on the field right now? There are three ghosts and six Templars, so if he spreads those Templar very well, keeps them in the back, uh, it could be very, very effective. This army coming over here won't actually be able to deal with this. Is there enough stalkers to blink up? It looks like there are only two stalkers. So not really going to be the most effective way to clean this drop up. And he's maxed right now, so I'm not sure exactly how he's going to uh, deal with this. It looks like just depowering all of the gateways, there's going to be one Colossus to try to do a little bit of micro against this drop. Looks like he will be able to clean it up, possibly. He does clean it up, but loses quite a bit of health on that. And now we see the pylons coming back up to try to repower these gateways. It's not a huge deal considering that he is maxed out. And will he lose that medevac? He does indeed lose that medevac. There are still a ton of zealots in this army. I really wish he would start to uh, tack into something a little bit different. These 3-3 three, three zealots aren't going to do that. Do the job as soon as this 3-3 three, three kicks in for uh, the Terran player. And where are the Templar right now? Looks like they've hanged back and they're not actually going to be participating in this battle and a huge EMP on all of these zealots and this is going to go a lot better for the Terran than the Protoss here. He really needs those uh, Templar to be coming in with this army. Needs to add in something different besides these zealots. We see drops everywhere inside of the Protoss base and this is actually going very well for top right now. Although both players very similar in supply, and so far the resource advantage is going to the Protoss. Just doing damage where he can right now, and definitely coming back into this game. Uh, Gator dealing with it decently here. And here comes a big cloak right now. And will he be able to... He doesn't have any infestors. Or not infestors, he doesn't have any observers, excuse me. Gets all of his... High Templar sniped, so it looks like three Archons are going to morph instead. So now we have are going up to six Archons, and that's quite a bit of area of effect for our Protoss. And a huge engagement here, losing all of his Zealots, but that allows the Archons to come in and do their area of effect, killing a lot of units here. And if he gets big, huge hits on these Ghosts, which are cloaked right now, taking a little bit of splash damage, though. And we have three Ghosts. There is the Observer now. Kills off all but one. And if that ghost gets too close to that observer again, we do see the redrop at this fourth base for Gatord, doing a lot of damage. Meanwhile, he's taking these uh, top bases, top is. And this DT is actually denying this for a little while, but the scan does go down. A lot going on all around the map. We see this drop still coming in, but the Dark Temple are going to be able to clean that up. He does uh, go back into the medevac, but this ghost over here is just taking down probes left and right. We're up to ten kills on that ghost. Meanwhile, we see the big engagement coming in. Uh, four Gator going to be able to take down this third base. He forces the lift off of both of these command centers. And so far, both players just doing damage where they can. But we see Top in a very big supply deficit right now. Gator in a very strong advantage, but Top still being annoying with these drops. Just constantly harassing the probe line. If we look in the income tab, it looks like he has evened out, evened out the income quite a bit. And with all of these command centers... He will be able to drop down a lot of mules, but we don't see any missile turrets at this uh, base. It's going to be going to work at this planetary. Hopefully there will be a scan going down. There is indeed the scan. We'll take down both of those Dark Templar, because plan planetaries are just that good. And now we see definitely a lot of bases coming out for Gator. We have these top bases for uh, top, but there's just not that much here. Constantly harassing with the Star Templar, forcing scans instead of mules is definitely a fantastic uh, idea right now, considering that Gator is in such a strong advantage. He doesn't want those mules to be able to get him back into this game. He could take down this command center. Don't know if he actually sees it. It looks like he does. So he's going to go after this SCV line. Oh my god, so many SCVs going down to those Archons. And tons of SCVs. If we look in the income tab now, there's only 22 workers out for top, and that could have actually cost him the game. It looks like he's going to be able to poke in here. 
with his army and just clean everything up. There's so many Archons. A couple uh, EMPs do go down, but there's just not enough here for top. It looks like he will be able to push him back momentarily um, with those EMPs, but as soon as the sh shields do recharge, I believe he will be able to do this. I would love to see him come up to the top side with a couple units and be able to take down these bases and keep the mining at an all-time low here for top. We see top still on three going up to four mining bases just because of the simply the fact that he has so many orbitals. And it looks like here comes the army coming up here. Has he scouted that very top base? It looks like he has not, so... Denying this base, but it looks like this top base has not quite been scouted. We'll have to see if he goes up there. Also taking his own... Uh, fifth, sixth base. His gatored. Gatored with about an 80 supply advantage right now. And that upgrade advantage just really helped them out. I mean, they have evened out on upgrades. The Vikings have plus two, which is going to help a lot with these Colossus, but the uh, storms that could go down would be huge. As long as, as well as the uh, Archons, there's just so many Archons here. And they're going to do so much splash damage to that Bio Ball. But at the same respect, if we see big EMPs go down on those Archons, they're going to fall extremely quick, considering they are all shields and no life. We do see a big drop coming in for uh, top right now, denying this m the mining on this base, but we see the Dark Templar is going to start to go, go to work on that, with a couple Stalkers as well, but those Stalkers are going to fall. And this base should be denied here, but it looks like the huge engagement coming in here for Gator once again. And these Archons definitely getting in position, doing a lot of damage, a lot of feedback, and Storm's going down on all of these units, and they're melting so quickly to the army for Gatored. And it looks like he is going to take this game here, 30 supply for Arteran, and GG comes out for top. Gatored going to go up 1-0 in this series, a very, very nice game. And uh, we're going to jump into the second game in just a second, so if you want to check that out, go to blip.tv slash frenzystarcraft. And thanks for watching.